the No Fake Channel. Checking in. On this episode of Dad's Energy Drink Review, I not only have C4 Energy Strawberry Starburst flavor, but I'm going to take you behind the scenes to show you how the sausage is made. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, give this video a like and hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Energy Drink Review series, I just review an energy drink on every episode to help you decide, hey, if it's going to taste the way that you expect or if it's going to be an absolute dud. And most importantly, if it's worth your hard-earned money. Now, many people will see me do energy drink reviews from my office, from my basement, dungeon, home, gym, and they'll see me do it from my car. But I thought, hey, let me just show you how I get this stuff set up. Oftentimes, you just see that this little makeshift podium and the video, but you don't see what goes on behind the cameras. So let's just snapshot you in to what's actually taking place. I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or... Let's back up a little bit to see how this whole studio looks from the rear. We switched over to the GoPro and hopefully you can see we've got a lot of moving blankets. And what I use that, that's a poor man's acoustic treatment. I have a very low ceiling in this basement. And if I don't have these moving blankets spaced out over anything that you can't see in the video, then you would hear a serious amount of echo, echo, echo. Now, in terms of lighting in the basement, I use a three-point lighting system. I got these GVM 1000s. There's one over there. There's one over there. There's also some other basement lighting. Hopefully, you can see that. And then I've got a third rear light here. color light back here in order to just hopefully bring some color to the video. So here is the tripod and the camera that I use along with the backup microphone. Typically I will have a lapel mic attached to my front chest and that allows me to capture pr premium audio um, from a dash cam but I always back up my audio only because a number of times it never worked and I didn't have a backup and the video was ruined. If you've got audio, you can make a video out of it. But if you've got a video with no audio, it's a lot harder to make a video out of it. Now, I do like to use the podium. Obviously, it can store things like this energy drink can when I'm not holding it. But a podium is a nice placeholder so that it prevents me from really moving around too much in the frame. I find that when there's no podium here, man, I move from left to right, front to back quite much more than I think I'm actually doing when I'm shooting the video. And another thing that I will do very often is when I do shoot videos, because the setup time can be a bit cumbersome, and then obviously whatever you set up, you've got to tear it down, is that I will make additional videos. So I just finished reviewing Unbent um, pump pre-workout here that I did and I will actually shoot two more videos today. I tend to shoot two to four videos at a go um, just because that's the way my work and life schedule allows me to. Oftentimes people don't notice it because I will switch um, lighting, I'll switch shirts, I'll switch hats, I'll switch whatever I possibly can to hopefully give you the impression that not all of it is shot on the same day in the same location with the same equipment. I know for some people you don't care about going behind the scenes and you don't really care what goes into the videos just so long as they're good. But for me, I try to do my best to maximize the benefit from my time in order to get some really good content out for all my subscribers without crushing my schedule just because these things take far longer than you realize. Cellucor's C4 Energy. Now they have a whole host of flavors and recently they've been partnering with different companies like Starburst in order to bring you new flavors and to put some nice twists on the flavors that they are releasing. Now the C4 Energy is meant to be a pre-workout in a can, but most people 
myself included. Just use it as a standalone energy drink. It does have 200, 200 milligrams of caffeine. As far as pre-workout ingredients, they put beta alanine in here. They put betanine and hydrus. Those are supposed to both help you with regards to performance. Unfortunately, if you're just going to be taking this as an energy drink um, and not going to the gym with it or working out with it, those are really going to be unnecessary and overkill. Flavored by sucralose. Now I will say they've got C4 Smart Energy. And what that is, is the caffeine. They remove the pre-workout ingredients and put in some nootropics to help give you a little bit of a brain boost along with that caffeine. I tend to, because I use this as an energy drink, prefer the C4 Smart Energy. But I had to try this bad boy out. It did come with my zero pack um, subscription so I got to just try this out to see how it tastes. I've heard good things about the Starburst collaborations, and I'm excited that it's just straight strawberry, because oftentimes you get a strawberry, but I think because it's Starburst, you are hopefully going to get a twist on that flavoring. As far as cost, I think it's like two bucks a can, depending on how and where and when you buy them, if you're buying them by the case. Oh, that sounds so good. Cheers. Tastes like a Starburst, I'm not gonna lie. If you've ever had the Strawberry Starburst and you've ever been a kid and you put like a couple Strawberry Starbursts in your mouth and you start chewing and you get that saliva that just builds up and it's a whole wad of saliva and it just tastes like that strawberry juice from the Starburst. That's what this one tastes like, but with carbonation. Very, very good. Definitely pleasing, I would say. I can see why people would really, really like this. Almost like a bubblegum strawberry, but not quite. Again, not, not again. they really stick to that Starburst flavoring with this one. Yeah, definitely a solid 8, 9 on my scale. And I don't give very many 9s, to be completely honest. I, pretty go, I go hard in the paint when it comes to flavoring. Just because I've reviewed so many energy drinks, they just they can't all be nines and tens like like some people want. Eight nine solid flavor. If I saw this out in a store, I absolutely would buy it. If I saw it on a sale, I would certainly buy a case of it. One you might want to get your hands on if you can, because since it is a collaboration with Starburst, it's most likely a limited edition flavor. Hopefully you found today's video informative. I want to know comment below. Did you realize that so much went into kind of setting up this little? small basement dungeon of a gym studio that I kind of put together? Or did you already assume that a little bit of craftsmanship went into the, the quality of content of my videos? I'm always curious what people's perception is versus reality. I know that a lot of people, they see a 10 minute YouTube video and they think it takes 10 minutes to make. And that couldn't be further from the truth. And frankly, I wish it was true, unfortunately. The setup, the teardown, the outline of the video, the editing, the upload, the thumbnail, the write-up. Hell, I need an energy drink just to do it all. Now, if you came this far in the video, give it a like, hit the red subscribe button. As usual, thanks for watching. I don't save anything for the trip back.